We need to stop Brunei FM. We need to kill Brunei FM. The pitch just keeps getting problematic day by day. People are requesting the government to take down people that are different. How about we take down Brunei FM right now? That sounds better to you. We need to look on conservative sites of Brunei FM. Conservatives are very strongly their homophobic posts as their guide to it. FM. Is that good? Hi, Brew News. Um, if you wanna end Brunei FM now, hit that like button, smash it like you smash in airport mall. Before we start on Brunei FM, let's talk about MOE. I am not against the government, but this video was shit. Basically, um, MOE, they sent out Hari Raya post or something, which is kinda such an innocent motive, but do the hate it got. The first thing is, you don't even understand what the person is saying. I believe it's like a clip from Open and Even. To avoid copyright, they maybe muffled the sound. Maybe they did that. I have no idea. Damn, another bee entered the frame. We have no idea what the person is holding. Is it a book? And so far, if you can um, understand what the person is saying, please comment down below. Because I don't think anyone can understand. <laughs> and they deleted, they apparently deleted the video, which makes it <laughs> 10 times better. The thing is, it's an MOE account. You don't really think that they have emotions. But dude, apparently the hate actually got to MOE, man. Fuck. Is that offensive? Fuck. Um, that's a joke. That's a joke. Uh... I am happy with the government right now, very much happy. And that is not sarcasm. Please don't put me in Jurdong jail. Let's move on to the next news. We see to summarize it up, there's a petition going try to, trying to end um, Brunei FM, which I personally don't think we need to end Brunei FM, but I will get into that sooner or later. Hey, let's read some of the tweets. J Exotic. I'll read it, read it out and we'll discuss afterwards. Again, this happened, however, it's just me eating Ambuya. I get it what, that whatever I joke about might be some like I'm disrespecting, but I was not at all. This is peak culture where you expose people because you just feel like attacking them and this needs to stop. So, so basically, J Exotic, he uploaded a video of him eating Ambuyat. Assalamualaikum. Hi, nama saya tolong post kanan men. Apa pendapat beliau kita beliau kita ni masa ni ini memelihara dan memang biar ni bah. Apa tak lagi sebagai beliau umat Islam. Sepatutnya sama-sama kita ni menjaga akhlak dan akidah kita ni. Walaupun zaman social media semakin berkembang masa ni. Dude, what is this font man? So ugly. It's so hard to read. Just like have normal fonts. No offense to every, anyone who's using this font. It's not my cup of tea. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. It's so long. Dude, who has time to just talk about something this long? Okay, now we're gonna watch the video, okay, knowing that it got backlash. So let's see if he did anything that is kind of sexual or something. <laughs> the title is J Exotic ASMR Eating White Slime. Not trying to be against J Exotic or whatnot. White slime is kind of implying that it's come you get me i don't know is it just me i don't know he could have just said ambuyat you get me okay let's watch let's skip to where he eats ambuyat oh uh, this is gonna be um, uncomfortable because it's not i'm just i'm not not a big uh, asmr person i can't watch people eat it's just disgusting if people eat i don't know oh my god <laughs> I just skipped to a random part, okay? I didn't pick that part, but that was kind of weird. Oh. Dude, you got something like here, man. Okay, yep. Yep, yep. Clean that up. Oh! Ooh! And the thing is, his clothing is kinda 
sexual. Like imagine if a girl wears that and then is eating white slab. You get me? Even her would receive backlash or you know. Basically what I'm saying is this video does have sexual undertones but in a way, when he's eating it, I don't think he's doing anything sexual with it. He's just like doing... It's a typical ASMR thing to just do, like kind of chew food and just like kiss it. <laughs> so I don't think he's trying to be sexual, but from his title, from what his, he's wearing, I guess there are sexual tension kind of. So yeah, um, kind of understand the backlash. And then basically, um, people started exposing his Instagram photos to the Brunei FM, blah, blah, blah. Wait, is he private or public? Let me check. Okay, so his account is public. So the thing is, his account is public, the video is public. You can't really get offended. If they start posting your stuff, which is already public, you know, to the public, basically. And he tweeted out, how about we focus on things that are actually happening? Racism, global warming, misogyny, sexual harassment, and attacking anyone of the community of for being themselves all the love. Yeah, I see a lot of this argument where people are like, why don't these Brunei FM people focus on real topics like sexual harassment, you know, Brunei racism towards Indians or something. But the things at the same time, you're complaining about this, we're focusing on Brunei FM, so why don't we focus on racism and sexual harassment? Get me? It's kind of a double-edged sword. Before I move on to the next Brunei FM post, I get that um, what they said, are kind of narrow-minded, close-minded, um, and kind of hurtful, some of them, they're kind of hateful. Yes, I get it, but that is the internet. It's always gonna be hateful, and if you post on public, you're gonna get hate, as always. If anything gets big enough, you're gonna get hate. Oh my god. Oh, uh, I'm so tired. Okay, I'm not defending Brunei FM, but at the same time, I'm not 100% supporting Jahan as well. I don't support the people who are hating on him for being gay, but at the same time, I get that he's not really respecting the culture by, you know, his clothing. Like, you can't deny that that video kind of had sexual undertones. You get me? Kind of, I guess. Okay, I hope we are all on the same page. Okay, moving on to the next. So yeah, um, last point. Basically, there's a petition to end Brunei FM and my opinion on that. Is this real? Yeah. Done. Amazing. Great plot. You should make a movie out of that. Okay, my opinion. Okay, my final opinion on this petition is I don't think we should end Brunei FM because this is where at least people who are uneducated have a platform and at least we realize that there are some people who are uneducated and yes we won't see what they say anymore and maybe that makes you feel better but these uneducated people will remain uneducated if you just close Brunei FM you get me open up conversations actually have conversations with them instead of just shitting on these people posting on Twitter when there's no Brunei FM people on Twitter anyway so actually talk to them actually comment on Brunei FM and I see some people that actually comment on Brunei FM who are usually on Twitter and I respect those people instead of just straight up talking shit about these people and stop Brunei FM on Twitter dude it's fucking cringe man you're not doing much signing a petition to end Brunei FM what is that for man even if we can change at least one person from Brunei FM to at least understand maybe um the homosexual culture or or sexual harassment you get me it's enough at least like you know yeah yeah that's my opinion okay wait one last post this is by isaac rizwan <laughs> we follow each other but dude this post is fucking cringe man like no fans but basically he listed out three reasons um why we should stop or and Brunei FM Facebook page. Again, let's just read the third point. The page consists of opinions that generalizes massively certain groups of people without logical and rational basis and sensible citizens of Brunei are concerned that this could prolong the narratives generalizing that Bruneians will never be progressive. 
Yeah, it's called opinions. Like, dude, this is great. Brunei, we don't have free speech. It's great that there's a page where people can express opinions. Like, dude, in these people's eyes, Twitter is toxic. You get me? Should we end Twitter? Imagine Twitter being ended. You get me? Dude, let these people have a voice. We shouldn't... Just because someone has to... There's no wrong opinion. Just because you disagree with someone, you shouldn't... You know... You shouldn't silence them. Let them speak. Have a conversation. Dude, that's my argument, man. So stupid. People... Dude, everyone that wants to end... I'm not calling everybody stupid, but dude, it's such a stupid decision to end Brunei FM. That's all I'm saying. And also, I like the memes. Okay, that's it. <laughs> and one last thing. People on Twitter, man, they they make themselves look like... Oh, we're better than these people. We're better than Brunei FM people. Brunei FM are filled off racist, homophobes. Doesn't that make you like kind of an asshole for thinking you're better than other people? Oh my god, I'm so dead. Yeah. Yeah, that's my opinion at least. I'm not supporting their opinions or Brunei FM. I support sharing opinions. I'm, I support having a conversation. I support respecting people's different opinions instead of ending a page just because they differ from your opinions at least. Okay, I think that's it. Bye-bye. This video is too long. Uh, I'm so tired. Okay, bye-bye. See you guys next time. Leave a like if you want to end Brunei FM. Subscribe if you want to sign the petition as well. And dab, don't forget your daily dabs, which is five a day. Please do. And subscribe and like. Bye-bye.